Ramon Brewster. You wonder if uh, we might get a similar scenario here. In this scenario, Vitaly Klitschko is thought to be able to take and Corey Sanders is the one who can give. And you talked about Sanders' generous tummy and loose chest, both now visible in the ring, particularly in contrast to the statuesque Vitaly, who is mostly muscle out there. Sanders' body and the nature of his muscles, great for golf, not all that bad for boxing if what you want is speed. And there's the first left hand up the pipe for Corey Sanders. Let's see if Vitaly comes back with a straight right hand down the middle. Sanders is looking to counterpunch, trying to lure Klitschko into throwing something. Reaching across the top with the left. Klitschko coming back with a left of his own. Sanders hasn't landed anything solid so far. Vitaly Klitschko going after Sanders a little bit more aggressively now with the jab. Nice right hand to the body by Klitschko. The ample body of Corey Sanders. Sanders in a corner. Doesn't look nearly at ease in there to the degree that he did a year ago in Germany against Vladimir Klitschko. Maybe already he feels like this is a different thing, but Sanders lands a left and now lands a quick right over the top. Already you can see the difference between the Klitschkos and how Vitali is more defensive when Sanders goes on the offensive. Vitali Klitschko landed two stiff jabs, stopped Sanders as he wanted to approach. Now a right hand across the top from Sanders as he traded with, or I check it from Vitali as he traded with Sanders and had the longer punch. Vitali able to tie Sanders up as he gets inside trying to throw a quick left. There you saw Klitschko blocking the left with his right. Most of Sanders' knockouts come from the left hand, although he did knock out one man a few years ago with a right uppercut. There's a big left hand from Sanders, and Vitaly Klitschko took it pretty well and comes back with a right of his own. Takes another left. The thunder has begun with a minute to go in round one. Now the landed punches oh, mean something. Oh, I got you. I got you. Step back. Vitaly trying to hook, pin jab, now lands a straight right hand up the middle and back Sanders up. First round much kinder to Vitaly Klitschko against Corey Sanders than was the case last year for younger brother. Hard left hand, staggers Vitaly. Vitaly Klitschko staggered by a Sanders left. Vitaly trying to hold on as Sanders tries to follow up. Ten seconds to go in the round. And it's not going to be called a knockdown. That's short. Hard left hand by Sanders. There's nothing like it in boxing. As Sanders is deliberately trying to bait Klitschko in and succeeds in setting that trap, landing that short, hard left hand. From another angle, same punch. Klitschko seemed just about to decide that Sanders didn't have much tonight and that he might go after him a little bit when he was abruptly met with the left hand. Most of the offense in the first round scored by Vitaly. He was 15 out of 33 punches by CompuBox for 45%. Sanders threw 52 punches, landed only 15, but landed more power connects. Vitaly worked behind the jab, which Corey basically didn't bother with. the 
straight right hand attempt by Vitaly Glitchko. Matt Sanders left, failed to make clean contact. Vitaly just dodging the straight left that time. Squared up against the ropes, lands a right hand and now grabs Sanders around the shoulder. Big miss by Sanders, couple of little taps by Vitalik. The way Sanders is already breathing hard, he's counting on catching Klitschko in the first third of the fight, if not the first half. Sanders is either already tired or playing possum, one of the two. He's walking flat-footed, showing little energy. And we're only midway through round two. Body shot by Vitaly Klitschko. Sanders standing as though he's sizing up a five iron to the green. But he could be getting ready to lash out with one of those. Body shots by Sanders, backing Vitaly off. Vitaly goes back after it. Two jabs and a right hand. Klitschko seems to have judged that Sanders is tired. Right hand by Vitaly Klitschko. Folks, this is heavyweight boxing. Two whales wailing away at each other. There's a little mouse under the right eye of Sanders already. Perhaps from Klitschko's jab. And a straight right hand lands flush for Vitaly. The right hand straight was the best punch of the fight so far for Vitaly Klitschko. Here, the reach advantage comes into play, and the right hand lands again. Straight right hand again for Klitschko. Sanders not doing much in round two, seemingly low on energy. Just waiting for the home run. He seems everything is his that he is doing depends on one punch. Sanders having to reach a little farther now to try to get in a big shot. That diminishes the power. Crowd is up again. They've been on their feet after both of the first two rounds. They like what they're getting for the money. What's the matter? Hey, look at slick me, man. If you can speak German, you may understand what trainer Fritz Sedinik is saying to Vitaly Klitschko. You also see younger brother Vladimir offering his own advice through the ropes from an angle. Vladimir may be relaying advice from Emmanuel Stewart, who's sitting with him and offering observations. In round two, Klitschko with an 18 to 6 edge and connects according to CompuBox. Sanders slowed down precipitously in the second round. Looks like the journeyman Corey Sanders, who was supposed to have been a perfunctory opponent for Vladimir Klitschko last year in Hanover, Germany. But already we've seen how Vitaly Klitschko is a more resourceful fighter than his young brother. He has a sense of when to hold him and when to fold him. He doesn't throw 70 punches around. He doesn't go in there and sell out his six foot seven inch body the way his brother has a tendency to do. Yeah, he fights at a more appropriate place for a giant man. People used to be frustrated with Lennox Lewis's relatively cautious style sometimes. But Lewis knew that at 6'5 and 250 pounds, he couldn't go in and unload every weapon in his repertoire. Vitaly fights more like that. Sanders looks dead tired. His arms are at his waist. 
as Klitschko looks for a chance to land something big. There's the hard left hand by Sanders. Followed by two more. Three of them right in a row. Two of them connected, and Vitaly felt them. And now Vitaly gets in a good straight right hand and steps away as Sanders flailed at the ropes. Round three of the schedule 12. Nobody, nobody expects this to go 12. Big left hand from Sanders. Stuns Vitaly. Klitschko backing up in trouble. Gets hit again. Last minute of the third round, Vitaly Klitschko starts to hold on. There's a mouse under Vitaly's left eye. Slugfest in the center of the ring. Can Sanders land another big one? Hard right hand by Vitaly Klitschko. Another one. Sanders takes them both pretty well. Third straight right hand by Vitaly, and he steps away before Sanders can set the left. Two more. Sanders misses with the big left. Vitaly pounds him twice with the right hand. And some lefts. Big right hand by Klitschko. Whoa! This is one of the best heavyweight rounds we have seen in years. And they're on their feet again at Staples Center. Vitaly, don't be sleepy. Use your left hook more. You also have to need use the right, and you're on the right track. Keep on going like that. Move your head. Sanders waiting all round to throw one burst, try to end the fight. The punch did not leave land square. You can see Klitschko backing up. Taking his measure and coming back with straight rights and lefts. This is going to come down to conditioning and will if it keeps up for another round or two. We go to the fourth. Harold, how do you have it scored to the first three? <laughs> okay, Jim. Two rounds to one. 29 28. Vitaly Klitschko. The first round you had to give to Corey Sanders. Uh, he staggered Vitaly. He looked real good. He seems to find a lot better, Jim, when he's coming forward. A lot of southpaws are like that. When they're moving forward, they're a lot better. Vitaly backed them up in rounds two and three. Certainly landed the hardest shots. And CompuBox numbers are beginning to reflect the far higher level of activity for Vitaly Klitschko as Sanders is clearly out there trying to land the one big shot. And literally going to the body as he sees uh, a, an opponent in front of him who doesn't look like he can go a hard 12 rounds. Incidentally, the subject of the name, and I'm the one who should tackle this because I've been all over the ballpark. It started out as Vitaly. Then they told us to use Vitaly. It turns out Vitaly was a marketing ploy in Germany where Germans, because of their language predilection, have difficulty saying Vitaly. So it became Vitaly. And at one point we were told to say Vitaly. Now he lives in America. He's back to being Vitaly. Vitaly is what he was as a boy. Vitaly is what we'll call him from now on. Action slowing. Crowd booing, no doubt asking Sanders to trade a little more. Let's go stalking and stalking. I've counted four or five good body punches by Klitschko in this round. Larry, Corey Sanders insists that in the 13 months since he fought Vladimir Klitschko, he was in the gym three hours a day most of the time. But that's not the same as getting ready to fight a prize fight. Yeah, and let's remember, he is 38 years old. He's been largely inactive. He was a tremendous athlete as a boy. He tells us he ran an 11 second 100 meters uh, golfer, etc. He depends a lot on his natural ability uh, rather than biting down and uh, getting 100% of himself. Ran out of gas against Hasim Rahman in a fight in 1999 in which he nearly knocked Rahman through the ropes. It was another situation in which his power was dominant early, but then he 
ran into the fatigue problem. And at that point, Sanders acknowledges, he says, you know, I thought it was over for me. Then 11 American heavyweights turned down the chance to go to Germany to fight Vladimir. And Sanders was finally the one who said yes for 125 grand. Best deal he ever made. Corey Sanders didn't do much in the fourth round. Vitaly Klitschko didn't do much waiting for Corey to do something. Each Friday night, it's on the record with Bob Costas among next week's guests, CSI's William Peterson. May 8th, World Championship Boxing featherweight title holder Juan Manuel Marquez versus Barrera beater Manny Pacquiao. May 15th, HBO pay-per-view Roy Jones against Antonio Tarver. Their first fight was the toughest of Roy's career. And May 22, Floyd Mayweather moves up to 140 pounds to take on Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. The former heavyweight champion of the world who stepped away. Crowd here responding to the picture of Lennox on the Jumbotron. Many of those who are booing are those who rooted for Vitaly Klitschko against him in here last year. In the fourth round, by CompuBox numbers, Corey Sanders only threw 12 punches. That's the equivalent of barely showing up. Well, maybe he's trying to refuel and took just took the round off. Sanders isn't going to experience something like a second wind. It appears that Vitaly Klitschko could walk home from here if he can simply avoid Corey's big left hand. That's not what anybody wants to see. There's a big right hand by Vitaly. And more and more, as his left eye swells, it looks as though Vitaly Klitschko will try to go for a finish. Many believe that the left eye, so badly ripped open by Lennox Lewis, would break open at first contact here. That hasn't happened. Good left hook around the guard. It's starting to look a little like a bad sparring session, although the danger is always there as long as Sanders can throw the left. Uh, it's... It's a one-shot strategy he seems to be following now. He's not even making a pretense at trying to win rounds. Big swing by Sanders, misses big. Vitaly Klitschko's confidence is growing as he watches what's in front of him. power shots by Vitaly. Sanders better land something soon. We'll give this to Sanders. He's taking some stiff shots on his whiskers and he keeps working forward right here. Bloody nose as he is. Blood trickling from the left nostril of Sanders. Now Sanders manages to maneuver Vitaly into a corner, but Klitschko punches his way out. Straight right hand lands. Sanders is able to get in a right hook. It's the left hand Vitaly has to worry about. Big right hand lands for Klitschko. Sanders is hurt. He wobbled on that one. Vitaly's trying to put his hand down. Sanders wobbles with 10 seconds left in the round. Referee watching closely. Looks like Corey's gonna make it out of the round but none the better for wear. Big shots down the stretch. Blood streaming from both Sanders' nostrils. Vitaly Klitschko closing in on the heavyweight title here. Keep on going with your left foot. And then use your right. You are right on track. You have him right now. Give me that, give me that back. Yeah. 
Just be careful when he's coming with his left, but otherwise looks very good. Fighting resourcefully, showing discipline. When the opportunities present themselves, Klitschko goes for it. Round five was a withering round for Corey Sanders. Vitaly Klitschko, by CompuBox numbers, landing 38 out of 57 punches at 67%. Corey Sanders, by CompuBox numbers, landed one out of 16. So it was a huge round for Klitschko. And it'll be interesting to see if Harold Letterman scored at 10-8. I scored at 10-8. Round six of a scheduled 12. What does Sanders have left? Vitaly Klitschko going mostly with the right hand to try to seal the deal here. But the big left hook lands there across the ropes. When a man can punch like Sanders, he always holds out hope. And that keeps him going and taking such fire. We saw George Foreman do that in the late stages of his career. He would take awesome punishment because he believed that if he can get to his opponent, he could change the fight. Sanders that gets in a left as Vitaly Klitschko getting offensive opened himself up. Corey Sanders re-energized for a moment after getting in that left. Vitaly's trying to stem the tide with his right hand. Put some straight... Oh, big left hand knocks Vitaly back. What a comeback it would be for Sanders if he came back and won the fight after what happened in the last round. A bloody Corey Sanders trying to close in and finish Vitaly Klitschko. Both, not get another chance. Both bloody now, Jim. But the blood is not coming from Klitschko's left eye. It's coming from his mouth. Correct. Sanders gets in another left. But Vitaly handled that one pretty well. Manages to slip that left hand. Big right hand by Klitschko. Sanders still coming. Boy, Corey Sanders has a beard. He took a giant shot right there, right on the button. Another one. And another one. Neither of those landed as cleanly as the first. Big left hand swing by Sanders, and Klitschko gets in a couple more. How much longer can Corey Sanders take those right hand bombs? Vitaly's spirited bid against Lennox came to an end. He's managed to come back in this round from having taken a big left-hand shot in the first minute. And it's Klitschko dominating again as the round comes to a close. You think any of the other heavyweight titleists can evoke these kinds of cheers? Sanders got something going a little early in this round, but he really didn't have the energy to follow up on it because Klitschko was smart enough to go on the defensive and pull himself together so he could land punches like that. Second out. Second out. Once again, the CompuBox numbers one-sided. Klitschko landing 37 out of 63, 59%, 29 of them power shots. Sanders has taken some very big stuff. He landed eight out of 37, but one of them was that left-hand shot. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, five rounds to one, 59-55, Vitaly Klitschko. Jim, tactically, he's fighting a very, uh, absolutely beautiful fight. Corey Sanders tips off when he's going to throw that left hand by coming forward. Vitaly Klitschko just circles to the left when he knows Corey's going to throw the left so that Corey Sanders has to reach, and, and he can't hit him. He can't hit Vitaly. Vitaly murdered him with that jab. 
Good left-hand counter by Klitschko off the right hook by Corey Sanders. And he showed a little quickness with that. Klitschko dropping his left hand. He may be tiring now a little bit also. Seemingly not nearly as tired as Corey Sanders, who has fought only in bursts. Crowd is chanting. Vitali, Vitali, Vitali. Now the South Africans come back chanting Corey, Corey, Corey. The Ukrainian and the South African fighting in Los Angeles. Of course. They trade big shots again, but it looks as though Sanders might be running out of a little steam with those punches. That time he landed a left hand and it didn't bother Vitali at all. Another left hand try by Sanders, partially blocked by Vitaly Klitschko. Hard right hand to the body. Vitaly Klitschko just trying to stay out of the way and land enough combinations to wear this man down. Relatively few clinches in this fight. a little variety as he goes upstairs then back to the body sanders tries two more big sweeps i don't recall i don't recall sanders throwing a meaningful body punch in this fight That's great, uh, Vitaly. Be still patient. Be careful. Don't get into much counter punching. You will do it. Trust yourself. You know, we've always kind of thought of Corey Sennon as a gentleman fighter, Jim, who comes out once a year, fights, goes back to his farm, goes back to his golfing, but he has shown us that there is a warrior inside him as well. No quitting, Corey Sanders. He still has that big left-hand chance to win the fight. Gathers himself, tries to wait to throw one more big punch. First couple of rounds were scintillating. Action has slowed recently. They bump heads against the ropes as Klitschko lands another big right hand to the body. Corey Sanders is having to walk through a lot of stuff here to try to get close to throw something. And he misses wildly with another big left. 
And now these lefts are not straight lefts, but roundhouses. And just as I say that, he lands a thudding straight left. Now he's throwing the right for the first time in the fight. It seems Sanders has thrown a couple of meaningful right hands. And they're trading big time again. Just when I said the action had slowed, now they're trading power checks. Vitaly landed a right, Sanders landed another left. Straight right hand stopped Sanders in his tracks. Left hook lands, right hand lands. What a show of courage by Corey Sanders as he takes shot after shot with blood streaming down his face. Just a brawl, a heavyweight brawl. Good, quick, left hook by Vitaly. Sanders can't get off the punch. Sanders flailing like a drunken sailor there. He's ready to go, Jim. And Vitaly Klitschko is going to try to finish it right here. Right. Unbelievable show of courage by Corey Sanders. What keeps him up? That's it. Finally, the referee rescues Sanders, and Vitaly Klitschko takes his claim. That, folks, once again, was heavyweight boxing. <laughs> so far in his career, Vitaly Klitschko has fought 13 time capsule rounds of heavyweight boxing in Staples Center here in Los Angeles. For a guy who wanted to move from Ukraine to L.A., he's done it in style. And this crowd, for the moment, has chosen its champion. Here's another look at the closing action. Finally in the seventh, in the eighth round, Corey Sanders' left hand was no longer really rocking Vitaly Klitschko. And as Klitschko realized that Sanders had completely run out of gas, he cornered him against the ropes and began systematically to break him up. And at that point, California referee John Shoro stepped in and said, enough. I'm not going to let him keep hitting you at will. So it's a TKO victory and a heavyweight title belt and maybe something even much bigger than that for Vitaly Klitschko. And here's Michael Buffer with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here at Staples Center, 17,320 fans came to see a world heavyweight title contest and they saw a great one. Before we go to the official time, a round of applause for this gentleman from South Africa who refused to quit, Corey Sanders. <laughs> Referee John Shorley steps in and calls a halt to the contest at two minutes and 46 seconds of round number eight. The winner, by knockout victory, and now the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Vitali Dr. Iron Fist, please come here. Surely the first heavyweight champion with a PhD. Surely the first heavyweight champion who speaks five languages. He'll never be pretty. It was not a beautiful affair, but it was a resolute and serious performance by Vitaly Klitschko in pursuit of glory. He wound up landing 179 more punches than Sanders. He threw nearly 200 punches more than Sanders, and he connected at an astonishing 56% connect percentage. He built that percentage way up after Sanders simply dropped his hands in fatigue and walked around taking punches, hoping he could land something big. Power shots. And of those 42 power shots landed by Sanders, not enough of them were the straight left hands that could conceivably have won him the fight. Most of Vitaly Klitschko's 171 power shots, straight right hands and left hooks, and in both instances he was very effective. And the 60% connect percentage tells you that at the end, it was only a matter of time 
for the six foot seven inch man who now occupies part of the heavyweight title picture and maybe will become the people's champ. Here's Larry Merchant with Vitaly Klitschko. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Vitaly. You've always aimed your career at being a champion. What do you feel and think about this fight having won the title? First of all, I want to say thank you very much for everybody who support me in this fight, who, who believe in me. And right now, I have the title. I have the, my, I have my goal. I have my dream, and I'm proud to be world champion. Tell us about the fight and your plan to go in. Did you feel that he would not have the stamina to go for 12 rounds, and that therefore you could be patient? I know it was one of strategy plan. I think uh, Corey Sanders try to uh, make short explosion against me and try to go a little bit long and after that the next one explosion and uh, actually I prepare for that and I underestimate him a little bit because his right hand very very fast so you plan for him to fight in those short bursts and in hopes that he could catch you with his left hand. That was the plan. I tried to fight him in second round, and uh, actually it was not a great idea because Corey had much ha faster hands. Uh, you've never fought a southpaw. He had those fast hands. Did you feel you could just simply be patient and break him down? And were you surprised that he took so many punches? It took so many punches, unbelievable. Sometimes I have my pain in my right fist, and actually Corey Sanders stay and make the counter combination. I was surprised. Do you feel in any way that this too helped to redeem the Klitschko name? That people, when they think of Klitschko's now, will think more than one thing they'll think of you? It's not just my dream. It, it's a win for two brothers Klitschko, for me and for Vladimir, because I'm more than sure Vladimir will be world champion. Right now, his dream a little bit, he, he has a little bit long distance to his dream, and I'm more than sure Vladimir have biggest potential in heavyweight in the world. What are you looking forward to next? It's very difficult questions. I hope the Lennox Lewis make comeback because in exactly the same arena, the same ring, 10 months, months ago, Lennox promised to me to fight rematch. And I know Lennox is a gentleman. And I hope Lennox make comeback in this second fight. Want to see everybody so many, so many millions? Yeah, but what if he doesn't come back? Will you try to fight all the other fighters with titles, or do you think now that you will be recognized as the champion of the world? Uh, I hope, I hope, because recognizing of the people is a big, biggest title. If pe if people accept me, I will be fight against another one champion because. I, I want to fight against another one champion because I have a dream. We have a dream together with my brother to take all heavyweight belt in our family. Let's see what happens. It's, it's just plans. I don't know what happens tomorrow, and nobody, no, nobody know. And I hope it's a sure thing you won't forget tonight, tomorrow, or for a long time. Thank you very, very much for a great fight, Natali. Thank you for everybody for support. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. And finally, just a word. We've been saying bring us giants in the heavyweight division. Bring us real heavyweight prize fighting. Tonight, we saw giants. One giant especially in Vitaly Klitschko achieving what probably is going to be the recognized heavyweight champion of the world the one heavyweight out there that when he fights 
you and the rest of us are going to want to see. Jim? All right, thank you, Larry. The last two weeks have been extremely painful for the Klitschko family. Finally tonight, in the wake of this victory, the happiness returns. And Larry mentioned the possibility that, as you see Vladimir Klitschko, the younger brother, celebrating Vitaly's victory with trainer Emmanuel Stewart, Larry suggested maybe Vitaly will be seen as the legitimate heavyweight champion of the world. And there's your answer. A resounding vote in favor of the man who beat Corey Sanders tonight.